We need to move this guy. That's all done. Should be fine. We should be we should be fine with that. I'm gonna keep an eye on this guy. What's going on over here? Did we figure it out? Mm, that's fine. We don't need anything else over there. What? Oh, that's a. Okay, differential diagnosis maybe. Oh, we're still waiting on a few things. So let's do the differential diagnosis and we'll see what's going on. Microbial sampling, still haven't figured it out. So we're waiting on a few more things to come in here. There we go, they're picking him up. So we've got COVID-19. I want to go upstairs and just figure out where this guy is at. There's no free bed for the required hospitalization, the regular. Wow. I am, um, I'm shocked. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen beds and it's not enough. Uh, that's problematic. Where are you at the moment? Hmm. You stayed in observation. You're not even... Why? Why are you... Hmm. Why are you being hospitalized? Let's start treating you with some stuff. Okay, have we actually figured something out here? Not yet. More money. You need more people for labs? Really? Let's quickly have a look. If we have a look at this, right? Um, labs. We've got one, zero, and four. Okay, let's, uh, let's add a few more people here. Even though we've got a few here. Let's add a few more people here. Uh, happy to... I'm gonna grab you. All of these, almost all of them, will grab you. And we'll grab you, and we'll just fill, that, fill this up completely. Who actually, I wanted this one. Oh, Mighty L. There we go. You got it. There we go. Got lots of lab workers here. It's the big lab, biggest lab I've ever had. Um, is this our COVID patient? He's collapsing from exhaustion. How are we going to deal with that? IV infusion. We need to really figure out, well, we need to actually start treating him. And then we can see if we can figure out some other stuff here. Okay, lab procedure uncovered new. Okay, is that? No, it's not quite. What is this? Acute it's infectious diseases, supportive therapy. Can supportive therapy be hospitalization is required, check free beds or try higher priority hospitalization. Okay, what I'm going to do is let's, ooh, I see you. But we do have oxygen therapy going for us in, because they didn't actually start treating him yet. We don't have ICU. We don't have ICU. So this guy's gonna be moving out of the way. Um, there's no free bed required for hospitalization. Um, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do, let's just pause it for a second. So let's um, quickly add some more um, of these isolation rooms. I'm just gonna go um, all out with these isolation rooms. And then, um, and then we'll we'll use that um, and hospitalize people straight into there if they. Um, um, we'll rather have more of this than than not. So let's let's go in and, and go nuts with this stuff. So if I go up to about there, hmm. Now. That, we'll see about that one. Oh man, look at that. We can actually squeeze one in here. Uh, before we do that, let's, uh, let's see what we can do over here. I'm tempted. Okay, Anna, let's, let's undo that last move there. And maybe what we'll do is we'll run them on this side. Let's see if we, if we run them through here. What are we gonna end up with? Oh man, that's that's a very that's that's almost a cozy fit right there. I'm quite happy to do do that. 
Uh, this one's not going to work, so that might be an open area. We might do an extra one in here. That mm, that's not actually going to scoop it in there, right? Might do a smaller one over there. We'll see. Let's uh, let's see. Can we squeeze some stuff in here? Alternatively, if we, hmm, that, it just feels like it's really wide if we do it that way. It feels a little bit too small, but what we could do, we could actually squeeze in the, almost the regular hospitalization ones in, in, in the middle there. If we do something like that, right? And then how wide does that have to be? Let's do four. And that's kind of like, oh man, that, that's not right. Let's do that again. Do something like that. Flip it around. Do these guys. And now this area is a little bit problematic for us. <laughs> I'm not sure what we should be doing with this. We could. There's enough room for us to actually squeeze a few in the middle. At least we can. So it's not the cleanest thing, though. Let's uh, let's try and let's try and do. Yeah, actually, that should work. Three by three. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, squeeze these in here. There. There and there. How, how about that? Look at that. That is a pretty decent, a pretty decent chunk of isolation units right over there. Now let's uh, quickly do the flooring, and we'll we'll see about the rest of it. It's not the it's not the prettiest design. Oh, it's the wrong flooring. Crap. Crap. It's the wrong flooring. Okay, let's just just finish that. Make it make, make it so. And then we'll see about assigning it. But what we can do then is we can uh, we can actually move people in here. I'm wondering. I'll, I'll probably leave that as is, just just for the time being. So that's it. So if we then go in here, we'll just need to go and say, well, VID um, isolation units, please, um, right over there, right over here somewhere. Oh, actually, that one needs to be a little bit bigger like that. Oh, not. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, we could actually run it up to there, run it up to there, run it up to there. We'll just run it like that. There we go. That's going to be just fine. Uh, ooh, I didn't actually spot that I'm doing it that way. Anyway, I think this should be fine. Like so, and we'll squeeze in one over there, and we'll squeeze in one over here, and we'll see if we uh, if we need to figure out those pieces. Okay, so now we've got tons more beds available over here. Hopefully, we have enough people to work it. Collapse patients being transferred to another hospital. It's unfortunate that we lost our COVID patient. I thought this facility was going to be good. We're going to sort it out. Um, we still haven't figured this piece out. This is really concerning that we can't, can't sort that out. Still nothing. And that's on the last one over there. Let's uh, start doing some other bits and pieces here. Do an evaluation and stuff like that. I have no idea what's going on with this patient. Um, okay, what are we saying? Scheduled procedures have been finished. Patient is waiting for you to plan another or treat or something like that. What we'll do is we'll just go ahead and treat straight away. Tranquilizers. Okay, that should be just fine. Finally, the lab uncovered a symptom. Okay, that's fine. We'll assign that and we'll have to hospitalize, I believe. B 
bed required for examination CBC sampling? But you're in observation, you are in a bed. Let's start doing some of those things. But that can't be right, right? You're not, there's definitely not a bed problem. It might be a nurse problem or something else, but it's definitely not a bed problem. You're in observation. Where are you? Right over there. Definitely not a bed problem. Okay, so regular hospitalization is not helping for you. So what we'll do is we'll put you in isolation and we'll try and get you um, treated. A terrible article about your facility in our local tabloid causes 40% of patients to go to a different hospital? Yeah, might as well be, huh? Eh? Because we sent that guy, that COVID patient away. Well, because he left. Uh, what's going on over here? We still haven't figured this out. You are... How can we... We're, we're waiting on differential diagnosis and PCR testing is still underway. That's fine. Schedule that finished. That's fine. We are busy treating that. That's no problem. Yeah, but we figured it out already, so we're okay. Uh, what I don't quite get, can't be prescribed in this department. Oh, I see. We need to do that. Um, regular hospitalization, I don't believe is available. But anyway, let's uh, let's do that and see what you, what, what we were saying here. Uh, bed required? Mm -mm -mm. I don't get this. It's not a bed thing, right? What, why? Why is this happening? You are in a bed. You're in observation, so you are. You have a bed. There are nurses everywhere. Are we short in doctors? There are doctors everywhere. I have no idea why this is an issue. There's no examination room for this, right? CBC testing. Bed required yet again. There's something wrong in, in this. Let's let's have a quick look. If we go. Um, our emergency department has got some kind of a concern here. Are we missing? I mean, these these spaces are available, right? Do we need to move them to a different department is my question here. Because we have the doctors, we have the beds, we even have free open spaces here in the trauma center. I don't know why we're saying we don't have a bed, beds available. Because we can't give them a diagnostics unit. They are they use the trauma center. Um, pneumonic plague. That's the last one of the three, huh? The pneumonic um, form causes a pulmonary infection. Well, let's uh, start treating that ASAP. You're already in isolation hospitalization. We'll try and get you sorted as quickly as we can. Uh, and we've got some bacteria, bacteria, so we'll get some IV antibiotics in there as well. Should be okay. Hmm. Chest, physical, palpitations, oral, temperature, CRP, and ECG. Uh, ECG? Oh, no, no. Let's not do ECG right now. Oh, that was easy. Let's assign everything we can. There is no free bed in the regular hospitalization, so let's go with isolation then. We should be okay, right? We should be able to sort you out um, ASAP. Okay, we've got some new symptoms. Finally, we figured this thing out. So it's African tick bite fever. We can sort that out. It's probably going to require hospitalization. This thing requires hospitalization. Number eight. Well, you're already hospitalized, so that should be fine. Ooh. 
but to me is fever is a fever caused same same thing same thing well let's uh, let's do all of that you need there's a free well, wait so let's uh, let's just hospitalize you in isolation then so we can get you treated that's going to be important schedule has finished figured out typhus fever again you're going to need um, and I'm guessing you're waiting for a bed, right? Waiting for a bed, so let's just go with isolation. PCR testing has been done. It's, we're still waiting on a few more things. Let's wait on... Yeah, hopefully we should find what's going on with you. You are done. We don't need to do any other stuff here. We just need you to, um, to be treated. And you are being treated. So why can't you be treated here? You need a bed. Let's, uh, let's get you um, in isolation and we'll get you treated as soon as we can. There we go. Then that should uh, sort you out. Okay, what's going on with you? Uh, that's just, we just, just some stuff that we were hoping to figure out, but you should be okay. Okay, getting there. More PCR testing. <laughs> We're waiting on a few more things. Let's wait on a few more things and then we'll decide what's going to happen here. Doxycycline. Uh, that, uh, that I believe should be the end of you. So we can just uh, kind of let you kind of wait it out. You need a bed. So, hmm. Why you... There's no free bed in regular hospitals. This is fine because I'm sending you to isolation. Right? Just go to isolation as I've intended. Bad part fever. Give you some antibiotics. You should be fine. Okay, let's uh, uh, run through what we've go got going on over here. We've got free beds over here. We've got doctors available. Let's go to the labs. Three over here still, and we've got more of that going on, so that should be okay. Um, on the x-ray, on the radiology, there's absolutely no one waiting in the radiology. Um, in the emergency department, there's absolutely no one waiting over here. If we go upstairs into DID, there's no one waiting there. This one is full. And hopefully by 9 a.m. or something, we should have a few people leave. Here we have, we still have a number of beds available over here. So really that can, can quite comfortably be used. Uh, hang on, let's just have a quick look. How many doctors do we have here? I think, uh, let's, let's assign a few more. So advanced diagnostics, uh, do that. Uh, we're gonna grab you. And then evening doctor, if we can find one. It's going to be just you and advanced diagnostics even more what what do you what do you have for us it's going to be you and what else do we have over here mm. oh daytime we'll grab you there we go so now we've got some extra Ooh, hang on let's uh, let's double check our nurses as well let's grab more nurses here Grab you. There's an evening one here, I believe. Absolutely, we're gonna grab you. Uh, we'll grab you and, oops. Over here, what do we have? And we'll grab you, so there's a couple more nurses in here. Let's grab one more set. You're the one and You're the one. There we go. Now we've uh, we've got way more more staff available now. Hopefully things can happen a little bit quicker. Um, you should be okay. We can send you home, no problem. Someone's coming in. Trauma. We've uncovered some symptoms. Finally, finally. Flinders Island spotted fever. Interesting. So you will need um, hospitalization of some sort. Um, okay. 
We'll see if that works. There should be... We should have beds available soon. In the meantime, let's um, let's get you to isolation instead. Okay, that's the end of the day. Okay, we've uncovered some stuff here. Yeah, it should be fine. You're already sorted out. What I wanted to check is upstairs here at, at uh, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., these guys should be leaving. I just want to see if we're actually going to get these out of the way. Control patient was treated and uh, ready for release. Oh, actually, I have to release them one after the other. Kind of... Uh, what about that? There's a lot of them. Excellent. We're going to have tons of people, tons of space here. Oh, HPS from isolation over there. Nice. Nice. Lots of people with the rabies. Nice. Some tick-borne diseases. Wow. Lots of people going home. Huh? Lots of people going home. Glad we are sending so many people on the recovery. Even the plague people. We're even sending the plague people home. Look at that. Controlled patient was treated and is now ready for release. Bird flu. We've treated bird flu. There we go. Nice. And uh, Q fever. <laughs> Q fever. Wow. Lots of money coming in. Hospitalization is over. There we go. Wow. Everybody's leaving. So you can go into regular hospitalization. We should be able to treat you quite nicely. That should be just fine. As soon as you're in regular hospitalization, you should be fine. Another releasey over here. Look at all that money. Okay, so we figured out you are, have got this kind of disease. So we should probably um, just treat you. You are already hospitalized. So hospitalization it is going on over here American um, trypanosomias I've no idea what that is um, also known as Chagas disease is serious infection disease uh, infectious disease caused by the parasite if left untreated it can lead to serious heart and digestive complications Ooh. well let's immediately start treating that is that something that we need to um, hospitalize for we'll see I think we're okay. There's a flasher over there, so we'll see how that goes. What are you saying? You... We've got everything we need over here. Ooh. And we are... We should be treating you for that. So that should be okay. Nice! Seizures are finished. We are okay. We are dealing with all of that. Over here we need to do some more... Diagnostic tests, temperature, oral, those kind of things. Let's have a look, see if, see if that helps us out. You, on the other hand, can go. Wow, that's easy. Nice. Now, uh, how's our emergency department looking? Ooh, look at all that money from the uh, pharmacy. This should have uh, you sorted out. Let's um, quickly throw in some more stuff over there for you to, to be, be looking at. Speech listening. Ooh, uh, this is okay. We can figure that out. I believe for this, you need to be actually be hospitalized. So we will go ahead and hospitalize you. Is there enough free nurses to transport this patient? I've just upped my nurses. We'll have a look. You're going from TC, okay. You should be okay, really. This is fine. This is fine, we know all of this. We know all of this. Okay. Lots of us, lots of work for us to get through. Okay, now let's um, start slowly going through all of these things. Temperature, definitely oral inspection, speech listening. We'll do all of those things and see if we can figure out what's going on here. 
This patient has got some arrest going on, that's fine. We'll just uh, leave that be over there. Interview, loss of fever. Hemorrhagic fever is caused by loss of virus that is spread specifically by African rats. Ooh. But it's not that infectious though, high fever though. This is going to be a problematic one, I think. Antivirals, we need to assign antivirals straight away. Antivirals, can antivirals be assigned in a GP's office? It does seem to be the case. I'm worried though. This is all done. No need for, for us to worry about that one. Mm, what's this? Okay, so again, let's just do some physical temperature, chest stuff, oral cavity inspection, and we'll see how that goes. This patient should be just fine. Should be just fine. Uh, this one should be fine also, I believe. Dead tissue in a uh, in a full thickness wound. Ooh. It's a little creepy. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Any of these is seriously infectious? Not really. Some flashing stuff going on. We are actually doing testing over here. We can start treating some of this, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to do a good enough job at that. Uh, probably it's time to do differential diagnosis as well. But we are waiting on stuff. Okay, so we've got this guy going on here. Antivirals. Okay, good stuff. Treating a lot of stuff at the moment. Still some flashing going on over here. Hopefully the treatments of that is going to be just fine. Are you... What are you waiting for? Okay, we've finished all of those treatments. Okay. What if this bleeding... Acute hemorrhage from the body, orifices like nose, mouth, eyes and ears. Ooh. And then hypovolemia. Wow, I think this patient really needs to be hospitalized. I'm almost thinking isolation. Because we've got... Some better facilities over there, so let's try and get them hospitalized straight away. Lab procedures uncovered new symptom over here. Okay, so we actually figured out what's going on there. Um, vancomycin. Okay, let's throw in some vancomycin over there and see how that goes. Typhus fever. Everything is under control here though. This one. Babies. We're dealing with a lot of rabies over here. There must be a lot of stray dogs in this uh, in this town. More stuff being to be deal with. I think that's just going to be just fine right there. Okay, let's uh, do some stuff. So that and um, maybe temperature, nasal cavity, oral cavity, blood, neck palpitation. Yeah, let's, uh, let's start with those and see how that goes. Over here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We are busy treating you. So how's everybody enjoying this? Is this, uh, is this uh, okay? Or should we be building more? What, uh, is this, I mean, because in the previous stream, it was only about planning and building. And in this stream, it's basically all about management patients. So I would like to find out from you guys whether you enjoy us just going through the patient management like this or... Or what is it? Is it your cup of tea, this or not? Ooh, we've got um, we've got some pretty serious things here now. SARS and MERS over here. It's obviously not that one because we don't have internal medicine department. So it's one of these very contagious, serious ones. So we need to try and figure out what that is. We can. Can we start treating the both complex therapies and we can't actually do any of them? at the moment we can start to suppress some of these things treats it a little bit but it's not going to help us a lot so how do we actually figure out whether it's SARS or MERS 
Is it, is it a blood test? Now do we know? Now do we know? I think it's blood tests, right? So we do... We've already done some of them, right? What was it? Let's do CBC sampling um, and differential diagnosis and we'll see if we can figure that one out. Um, this is all fine. You can go home. I believe you're under control here. So let's uh, just do the rest of that. And so I should be able to send you home soon. That is fine. We'll leave you be. Last, you've been interviewed. There's two things over there. Let's do physical chest and temperature and see how it goes. Uh, we'll also do oral and nasal. It's collapsing. Heart failure. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we do defib. Loss of fever, you should be, everything here should kind of be under control now. So I think we're okay. Lab has figured out that you've got this thing. We'll just add recommendations to it, but we just need to treat those things a little bit quicker. Procedures has finished. Uh, we figured out some stuff. Okay, let's see what else we have over here. CRP can be done. Let's try and do those and then we'll uh, move over to blood draws and things like that. Let's do blood draws and that one maybe. You should be just fine. We'll just leave you there. Procedures have finished again. Okay, we don't quite know. So it's physical. We definitely want temperature. We'll do some neck and abdominal palpitations also. Okay, now we'll move over here. Mm, okay, let's do differential. Okay, so it's a respiratory disease, HRSV, also known as human author you know, virus, I can't say that. Uh, Syncytial virus causing respiratory infections. Anyway, we'll start treating that antivirals. Uh, required, okay, anyway, maybe that should be just fine. If we can just throw you some antivirals your way, maybe that should be just fine. Okay, so this patient is collapsing and we can't actually treat this patient. So uh, ICU might be our next best thing. Maybe we should find ourselves a little bit of an ICU location. Um, we don't need a lot of ICU, guys. So let's, what I'm going to, but ICU requires its own on-call and all these kind of things. So potentially we do need to go upstairs for ICU then. So is it another level? Do we build out a little, well, we need a large section of ICU if we want to build it out somewhere over here. Yeah, we can't, mm, can we? No, it's not going to be big enough, right? Let's uh, let's quickly have a look. If we go ICU, right? If we go ICU and we say, the on-call 4x3, nurses station 4x3. We can. Look at that. Look at that. We can do ICU like this. What we won't have though, is a cleaning closet. We won't have a cleaning closet for ICU. Let's, let's leave it like that for now and see if that'll work for us. Let's build a little bit of an ICU over here so we can at least deal with it a little bit. I'm, uh, I'm tempted to, to, to do deal with it like this. Okay, let's go with these red colors here and we'll Try and sort that out.
like so and maybe like this and then what we'll do is we'll just uh, kind of put these in here I think that'll that'll actually at least give us some ICU capacity the idea is not that we have tons of it but we'll have some ICU capacity um, to deal with that at least so we'll do a little door right over there and that provides everything with ac access so let's uh, quickly set up a few modern ICU beds over here started off on this side we can have like four ICU beds in here that is quite good actually that's a very very nice little ICU section now we need wall mounted no we need some equipment cabinets we'll do that we'll uh, we'll need to put something like a defib on the wall where It'll have to be something like that that's okay um, we need a CRP so it's it's okay let's uh, let's quickly do these life monitor things life support we'll go with the red color here green anyway that's fine okay life supports are in then we need life monitors Like that. Then we need one of these mobile workstations. We'll just kind of slot it in over there. We need, ooh, it's not going to work as well. Can we, can we get another, we'll get another equipment cabinet over there, right? Like so. And we'll grab, there's a few things actually. We'll need this guy. Oh, this guy needs to go on the floor. Ooh, not sure that's going to work then. Let's uh, let's get rid of that. Let's uh, put this guy. It doesn't go on the floor. It needs a, a desk of some sort. So if we do that, mechanical ventilators. I don't think we just need ventilators, right? Okay, the beds are ready for action. We need this thing to go up there. We need a little something like, ooh, this is going to be problematic. We may have to, okay, what I'm thinking is let's get rid of one of them. And we'll, oh, that's not what I, what I had in mind. We'll leave that there, that's okay. But what we'll do is we'll slowly move these things over here so that we at least, at least three of them should be just fine. We need one more something. also do with like a stretcher but we'll, we'll get to that um usg we need a usg so let's uh let's find maybe another cabinet over there with the usg on top of it we could do some of these things maybe that should be okay not really accessible we'll get the bed sockets going on so we'll have like three beds in here that's going to be just going to be uh, have to have to do it's going to have to do uh what we'll do is we'll uh, actually grab this guy and put it over there now let's get the doctor's offices it's just going to be like maybe two of them yeah well let's uh, let's do that we'll get two doctors in there and see how it goes we can do probably more nurses um so from a doctor's perspective they'll just have their laptops out over there Ooh, they actually need like a printer or something so let's um Let's double that up and and actually move that out of the way a little. Do that kind of thing. What else do we need? We need some chairs there. That is it. We'll do something like that. Okay, over here, nurses need um, an equipment cabinet. Don't really know why. Um, we'll give them a stretcher right there we'll need to give them some pcs one two three three nurses should be fine uh well just let's just get the other pc in there too now let's see can we that's the only last thing that we need here should work that's gonna be just fine no meal tray unfortunately that's gonna be just fine perfect so now we'll actually have an icu up and running 
So if we go over here, let's get ourselves the um, ICU docs. W. Oh, we need a chief doctor for ICU though. Who's gonna do it? I don't want an alcoholic. We're gonna have you, and then that's uh, that's one. And we'll go ahead and grab you. There we go, Barbara Moore. There we go. And now we need some nurses over here. Okay, intensive care is up and running. Okay, okay. And one more, I think. There we go. Should be just fine. So now we have intensive care available over here. Okay, so this person has a bit of a fever going on. Do a little bit more stuff over here. Be okay let's see what, what that comes up with okay last 20 minutes of the stream um i'm i'm contemplating that this is kind of the end of our uh, project uh, of our you know uh, of our uh, project hospital playthrough it's been uh, it's been good to kind of uh, deal with uh, to really kind of deal with the with the um with the diseases and to to manage the patients i think that's been been a quite a different uh, different approach to what i usually do it's usually more about management of the hospital and less about management of the patients and this time around with uh, with the new dlc it's been pretty good to play with managing the patients instead Ooh, what do we have let's do a differential diagnosis and see if we can actually figure that out it is hepatitis a in fact so we'll just uh Sort that out, that should be just fine. What's happening over here? Okay, let's see if we can uh, sort that out at, at all. Uh, defib has happened in ICU, so you should be okay now. Everything, you should be okay. We should be able to manage you. Okay, this is the SARS MERS situation. We haven't been able to figure out anything just yet. Um, oh, and even all of the testing didn't do, didn't help. Okay, well, let's do the last pieces. Still nothing over here. Let's start drawing blood. Okay, let's see how that goes. See if we can figure that out. Um, okay. I believe we'll just do some regular hospitalization over there. Should be able to deal with you. That one's flashing, so as soon as we get some medicine into you, you should be okay. That procedure has uncovered some stuff, but it's okay. We, hmm. Well, we're already kind of sorting you out. So let's go with some regular hospitalization over there. You, everything here seems to be under control. Let's uh, assign the rest of the stuff to you as well. I think we should be fine with that. Okay, what did we find here? IV antibiotics will need, uh, I believe, will need a room, so let's regular hospitalize you. We don't know yet. We don't know. Your serological testing is still underway. Let's throw a th few more things in there. Okay. 
and you're resting right so you should be fine right you should really be should be okay so we've got one patient over here that really you should be okay you should be sorting yourself out now a patient is about to leave why is that waiting for player really but we are as we've spent a lot of time in hospital without being treated hospitalized it's getting waiting why are you not being no free beds whoa hang on are we filled up yet again my goodness let's have a look if we go in here honestly you have okay well let's isolate you then see if we can deal with you that way never thought the uh, the regular hospitalization was going to be such a big problem it's usually the hdu components eh? it usually is we have figured this out and you are currently being treated so that's okay you're fine well we're treating you you're not fine but we are treating you uh, okay you've had your interview and now we need to kind of figure out which one of these things um, you have that one is highly contagious so let's start with some temperatures okay it's not the Lyme disease, Lyme disease it's not the not that bad uh, we do however need to provide you with this but you need to be hospitalized for that so we'll go ahead and hospitalize you like so that's fine keep going that's also ooh. you're not hospitalized there eh? okay isolation it is then Hospitalize. That should be okay. You're going to be fine. So what is happening with you? You are in fact hospitalized. We're just kind of waiting, waiting this out. Okay. Well, that's kind of where it's at, right? Let's uh, quickly check this in with this. We have regular hospitalization waiting for a bed though. So let's move you to isolation and we'll start assigning you everything you need to be assigned. And that should help you out. Uh, what I wanted to check is if we go in here, have we actually managed to deal with most of these things? Form one surgery, which is not something we're going to be able to do. Save a patient after two collapses. That doesn't really generally happen. No free bed in the regular hospitalization. Yes, understood. And but I've asked that you go to isolation, right? There's lots of beds available over here in isolation. Or a bed has become available. Finally figured out what that one was. Um, let's try that. IV antibiotics needs hospitalization and then IV antibiotics. Lots of stuff happening all at the same time for that one. Uh, this is underway, so that should be just fine. Ooh, malaria. Interesting. Anti-malaria medication. Fine. I'm sure that is not necessary that you be hospitalized for that. But it can be pretty serious. Uh, we'll figure out some stuff out over here. Yeah, I think, think we have. So let's do this. But you will need to be hospitalized though. Oh, you are hospitalized. Okay, that's good. Let's be sure to help that out then. 
Over here, you've got everything you need, so you can just kind of wait it out. Okay. That's been finished, so I think that's going to be fine. Once we've um, provided the doxicillin, I think that's how you say it, doxicillin, should be okay. We'll just let you wait it out. Hmm. I've asked that you actually be hospitalized, right? Why? For malaria? Can I stop the hospitalization on this side though? See, I can't cancel that. Even though I put this one in, I can't cancel hospitalization. And that's the piece that I... Ooh! Sarge? Well, that's definitely isolation, right? Highly infectious. Complex antivirals. Ooh. Again, let's isolate you. Just throw from an extra beds perspective. And then once you're isolated, we should be able to, to assign you this stuff. Yeah, so I think if they if they get isolated if they uh, if they get hospitalized first and then I uh, and then you have to move them then it kind of doesn't want to work you should be just fine we'll get IV antibiotics on your side that is just fine you should be fine hmm now, how are we going to figure this one out? Let's quickly have a look here. Probably rabies, huh? Eh? Heartbeat irregular. And there's a flashing one. So let's quickly do an ECG and see if we can figure that piece out. And we can also do differential diagnosis. I'm going to keep an eye on this one. Um, rabies is a, could have a, a high heartbeat. Uh, no, I don't want you to do that. Go for isolation, hospitalization instead then. You're going to be just fine. You are isolated and you have everything um, to manage this, so you should be fine. That is being suppressed quite nicely over there um, you've got rabies so we'll stop those and we'll just immediately start signing you this stuff hopefully we don't well you are in some form of hospitalization i believe yeah i don't know our hospitalization sucks Ooh, what's this we don't have enough beds we need like a hundred more beds um, anti-malarial medication for um, for this for this what is this a cat disease is caused by parasite symptoms are similar to the common flu the parasite is spread through undercooked food and exposure to cat feces no, no 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 hang on oh you're already on on that hospitalization go for isolation see if that can work for you Okay, what else? Yeah, we figured it out, right? We already figured it out, we know. Everybody seems to be quite happy. Our prestige is currently running at 100% all the time, so that's pretty cool. Okay, end of the day, patients' numbers are back to normal. How many people do we have in here? This is pretty full.
It should have made a much bigger one. I do like this as a ward arrangement, really. It, it feels really nice to have that as a ward arrangement. Kind of works for me. Kind of works. Everything is nice and quiet now. Favorite patient is collapsing. Ooh, septic shock. IV antibiotics. Ooh, we're waiting on... On what exactly? Shall we try that, please? Oh, I see you. Running out of bed space is a big problem. This guy is still here, but this should be pretty much suppressed now and should be okay. Scheduled procedures are finished, so that's okay. You should be okay, too. What do you have? SARS, yet again. Um, if you have SARS, we would like you to... Who? If you have SARS, buddy. That's not good. Temperatures. We need to assign you some stuff. And we need to get you into isolation. Patients already hospitalized, higher or similar priority. You can try changing the department. Doesn't want to. Oh no. Yes, we're in the last five minutes. That part fever. Let's do that. Okay. Where are you going? Ah, now you're being isolated. Good. Good. Okay. Well, okay, send you home. That's excellent. It's been fun. It's been fun. I've, I've actually enjoyed managing the patients. Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit, you know, intense for me. But I have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. I like a calmer management of the, of the facilities. Oh, this area has not been cleaned. Why is that? You've got malaria. You should be okay. Should be fine. We should have people uh, leaving soon. Why is this area not being cleaned? Um, because it's not assigned anything. Let's just make sure to uh, corridor that up a little bit. There and what we'll do is we'll I'll oh, just do that. More ambulances and stuff happening. Okay. Yeah, we missed that spot over there. How uh, how busy is our isolation ward? Not that busy. I like this area looked really good. I like that quite a lot. Lots of, actually, lots of people in here. Favorite, favorite patient is collapsing, heart failure. I'm assuming that is already, okay, go to defibrillation. Uh, not sure how we're going to deal with uh, some of this stuff. We need to maybe continue looking for, for some issues here. Um, probably heart issues. Oh, two patients after collapse. Excellent. So what do we get now? Now there's a random event of some sort. Unlock event buttons. Ooh, so now there's a potentially event. What's going on with this one? Ooh, Nipah virus. Um, oh, this is the one. Schedules for oxygen therapy. Let's just make sure to assign all of those the treatments. Can't hear any sound of the game or what I'm saying. You should be able to hear me at least. I know the game sound is quite low. But I, the game sound is there. You can't hear any sound? That's uh, strange. Doesn't look to be a problem on my side. Anyway, 
Guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here because it's now 11. So I would like you to, I would like to thank you all for coming out. Um, as per usual, I do appreciate your attendance and your support. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Um, join us on the Discord and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.